Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you how to make another super easy Japanese recipe. Today we are going to make a very tasty simmered sancho beef. I believe that you know sancho. Sancho is often assimilated to um, Sichuan peppercorn, but it's not peppercorn. Uh, sancho is actually very small berries of the Japanese prickly ash tree. And this time we're not going to use a sancho powder, which is very common in Japan. And I believe you can find it in your countries too. We are going to use sancho tsukudani that has been sent to me by Kokolo Care Packages. Kokolo Care Packages has a large variety of premium care packages. And we've decided to team up because they offer only extremely high quality products. And as you know, I only use high quality products, traditional products and very typical Japanese products, which is the kind of products they are offering in their care packages. This Sancho Tsukudani is available in the care package that is called Wa, and you can find again in the link below in the description. Please check it out. Now let's start cooking. So what you're going to do first is combine two tablespoons of sake, two tablespoons of milin, one tablespoon of soy sauce, then Oops, that's a lot. One tablespoon of sugar on medium heat. Then add your Sancho Tsukudani. Voilà. Two to three tablespoons <laughs> Sorry. and then you're going to add your meat for sukiyaki which is very thinly cut meat voilà. So you can see that the sauce is reducing. And what I like to do also is add some mini tomatoes. You can add, of course, mushrooms of your liking. Japanese mushrooms are probably best. Then put on low fire and cover. Mm, oh my god, it smells good. After two more minutes, the sauce also is getting a little thicker. Now our mini tomatoes are almost, almost cooked. I like them a little more tender. If you have some leaves, you can put them on your plate. So I've got some nice lucola that comes from my friend's garden today. Oh. Okay, I think that's yes. The sauce looks reduced enough. Our mini tomatoes are soft. So we can serve the dish.
it smells so good guys it really smells amazing voila some short seeds so i hope that you enjoyed making this recipe together if you don't have Sancho Tsukudani, I think that you can use basic Sancho, you know, powdered Sancho. What I would do is that I would just put a little bit after you've cooked your ingredients, just put it uh, on top of the dish and then enjoy, of course, with white rice. That will be best. Uh, if you have sake, it will be amazing, but I bet that red wine will go with it very well too. Voilà, bon appétit and see you very soon for another uh, easy cooking for lazy people. A bientôt.